Hey, this is Brandon from CAD Intentions, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to scale your viewport to a one quarter inch equals one foot scale to show your uh, contour plan that is drawn at full size, one to one, in model space. All right, let's start. So, I've already brought in a pond contour plan right here. This is from an old uh, demo I did. Uh, you might remember it. It's a uh, just a bunch of contours uh, with a few section lines drawn in it and the property line coming through this pond here. Um, we're going to use this as an, as an example. So everything is drawn in model space as you would normally do and as is a good uh, rule it's all drawn at one to one or full scale. So if something is 50 feet in real life it's drawn in 50 feet at 50 feet in the drawing in model space. No matter what draw things one to one. Uh, it's just good practice and it's you can always scale things down for your viewports and in layout space. So just to show you I'm going to uh, hit DWG units so dash DWG units and hit enter and it's just going to show us that the units are in feet. Uh, you can do this by typing in units as well. There's a few ways to check that. Now I'm going to go to a viewport that I've got preset up. This is one of my title blocks. Uh, you can get those on the website. I'm sure you know where. Um, you're going to want to have a, a viewport set up in here. So I've got one already. I'll draw a new one just to show you how. So I'm going to type in viewport. Uh, you can hit single or just hit OK. I'm just going to select the edges. And there you go, it's going to scale to the extents of your drawing. That's all that I've got in this drawing. So, in order to make sure this is at a scale you want, you got to remember that everything in paper space or layout space, these are these tabs that your uh, title blocks are in, are in real world dimensions. So if it's an 8.5 by 11 uh, sheet or viewport or layout, um, it's going to print on an 8.5 by 11. But everything on the inside so when you double click and activate the viewport these units are in your drawing units it's like you're viewing your drawing in model space from the, the layout tab that's why it's called a viewport you're viewing your drawing so when it's not highlighted and you double click outside the measurements are real world so if you type in dist for distance you can see that from top or from bottom to top my drawing is eight and a half inches. That's because this is an eight and a half by fourteen inch piece of paper. And I've set that up in my plot, plot or a page setup manager. I'm not going to go over that today. Um, but if I double click in here, now I'm in the drawing. You can see if by holding down the middle wheel, I can move it around. I'm going to use the dist command again, and if I just go from here to the top, you can see it's. 1400 feet. That's because this pond is roughly 500 feet wide. So you can see that it's almost three high. If I double click outside of the viewport, it unhighlights and we're back to real world. So to scale the viewport, you're going to select it once just to highlight it and bring up the properties menu. That's control one. Um, or you can right click on it and say properties down here at the bottom. It's going to bring up this menu here, and in it you're going to be able to set your standard scale. And this is what we're going to use today. You can also use custom scales, but stick to standard when you can because uh, people's scale rulers will work on it. And I feel like a quarter inch to one foot might work. So the first number for these scales is the how long in layout space equals the length in model space. I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to use one quarter inch equals one foot. So by, it looks like it's about the right size. If you double click inside and just pan without scrolling in or out, you can move the drawing. Just be careful not to scroll in or out or you'll mess up your scale. And then double click out to get out of it. And then you can move around and you're not going to mess it up. So select your viewport. You can see it's at one and a quarter to one inch or one foot. So that means one quarter inch in paper space or layout space equals one foot in model space. 
So that means if I use one inch, which is four times a quarter, right? One inch will be four feet in model space, four times. Whatever you do to one side, just times it to the other side. So if I draw a line out here in paper space, one inch, so I'm just going to type in one and enter, and hit OK. Now I've got a one inch long line. I'm going to move that up to model space and use the change space command. So CH and then space, the word space, select the line, hit enter, and it's now pushed it, it's changed its space from paper space to model space. Now if we do a distance on that line, it'll tell us how long it is in model space and you can see 48 inches on the bottom here. So that means one inch equals 48 inches in the drawing. Does that make sense? So this drawing's at one to 48 or one quarter inch equals one foot. So what you would normally do is write your scale. So right here, you're gonna write one over four equals one foot, like that, and hit OK. And there you have a drawing that is now scaled. Now if you have any questions at all, don't forget to leave them in the comments. Uh, hopefully I've kind of sorted this out for you. You can use this kind of method by doing the line outside and then the line inside to get your scale. So whatever one inch equals, when you change it to the back, that's what it would equal in the drawing, if that makes sense. Uh, let me know if this is too confusing and I'll try and clear it up, but hopefully it helps. Cheers. Hey everybody, Brandon here, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to convert or downgrade drawings to an earlier AutoCAD version. Uh, in case you don't